Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. So this video is just the uh, it's just a walk around of the SC three hundred, so I can actually show you guys how the actual spoiler turned out after I vinyl wrapped it and how the molding processes. Well, the molding process I did on the uh, actual duck bill spoiler. Um, as I said before in the last video, I have no idea how to do body work, body filler, bondo, fiberglass work, anything at all. So me being me, I give it. I give it a good seven out of 10 results as far as uh, how good it looks. And it didn't crack anything on me while I was vinyl wrapping it. Not sure if that's what it does, but it's still holding strong, still holding strong. Um, However, I did miss one spot on the trunk um, as far as sanding it down flat and smooth. I have no idea how I did that, I guess, because maybe I was rushing, maybe not 100% sure, but we could get out here and I can show you guys the SC300 and actually how the spoiler turned out. Um, so yeah, it's just pretty much just a walk around of the car. Um, we go ahead and get out here. Uh, I had a, and I, I see you can see the car right there. You see the front wheel, that's the front wheel, the SC right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we could I could just give you a, a quick walk around of the SC 300 because I did change a few things, just the wheels pretty much, and the wrap in the trunk. That's all I did. I think I made it did more, just didn't do it on camera. I don't know, but you guys tell me in the video. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks everybody for checking out the station. Thanks everybody who's subscribing and thanks all my day one subscribers because you guys actually know where I came from with this car and how far we actually came with the car. And after the tune, it's still running strong. I do have an oil leak, normal 2J stuff. <laughs> that's just like, to me, that's like normal 2J stuff. I do got like a slight oil leak and my wheels are rubbing in the back a little bit on the actual stock body of the car. We're going to cut all that out because yes, we're going to mold the white body on. Not right now because I don't want to miss any events, but in the next couple of weeks, we'll be starting to mold the white body on. I do one side, make sure I got that side complete and I'll record the other side since it's just a big project. To me, I feel like it's going to be a big project. It might not even be that bad because I practice on a duck bill spoiler. All right, guys, let's get out here and I can give you a good look see of the car. All right, guys, so the car is actually dirty. I did wash it the other day, but this is how it turned out with bird poop. That must be for good luck. So if you look at it, you can still see kind of like where the mold is some. So I guess I was supposed to sand it a little bit more, but that's not the part I'm talking about because you can really barely see that. See, see what I'm saying? And this is not the six feet back. No, it's like a foot back. But like, if you look, you really can't see this neither. You might not even see it on camera. So this part where my old NRG spoiler used to sit, I totally forgot to sign this down all together. Like it's still like a patch that big right there. The back actually came out perfect. Um, I have no idea how I did the back so perfect as far as sanding wise go. Like, cause it's smooth, I have no idea, but like, if you could look, you can see it pray right here, so how it looks a little bulgy. You, I don't know, it's a little hard to see with the wrap, which I pretty knew was gonna happen. Like, right here, it's like a little bit bulgy. I want it all the way smooth, but I mean, that's the best I can do. Uh, I probably could've did it a little better because like I said, it's my first time ever doing something like this. So that's why I did, actually did the trunk first, and then I'm gonna actually do the wide body. But I know for starters, I should glue the wide body down and then sand this thing down as flat as I can get it and then apply the putty. So that way I won't have like this bulge and just sand it down and work it to the body. In theory, that's in my head, but I'm gonna watch some more videos and I'm gonna watch some more videos and research some more before I actually start on the wide body. But yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna mold the wide body because I love how the wing look. The, the duck bill actually looks like well, it's a complete trunk, but like it looks more proper than having it like bolted down on there or like glued on there. So, or 3M taped on it. It looked good, but the only downside to that that I'm actually worried about is that it's KBD and it might wrinkle up and it might detach from the wrap. I'm not sure. It's my first time wrapping something like this. So, I mean, time will tell. Time will definitely tell. And I guess I could do like an update video about the car all in all because we are about to do some more maintenance under the hood and we could go from there with that but um yeah it's pretty much like i said it's pretty much just an update video of the car how it's saying how it stands so far just get look see the wheels I'm not sure if i showed you guys the wheels yet so these are actually ssr premiums uh 
anniversary model. Um, six inch lip in the rear, three inch lip in the front. These are step lips. So the reverse lip is how my uh, my my wedge used to look. The the lip would just stay flush, the same size straight out. But with the with the step lip is 17 to 18, or like 17 point something to 18 inch lip. Um, the face is actually smaller. These wheels actually, they are, if you know wheels, these are definitely lighter than the wedge, if you already know. The face is a size smaller, and it's just a different construction as far as wheels, not the full face. Um, and they look good. Look good. All right. I did the stick. I made the stick on the machine. It doesn't come like that. Um, I had rebuilt those. Those had like mad weak spec lip, and I just rebuilt them. And then it's the front. I do have a space on the front. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a half inch space or inch space. It's just because these didn't clear the, uh, the LS calibers that look horrible. We got to do those over. But, eh, really didn't change anything on it. And the trunk actually matches the hook. Yeah, which is a good thing. Even though the car is dirty dirty as crap it's just piling bro like ugh, piling still got my stickers and everybody always asks me they say how do you see with all those stickers on your windshield so the one guy he say uh what do you say he said he pulled he said hey man nice car he said but how do you actually see out the windshield with all them effing stickers on there i said well the way i got it built up as far as the sticker wise um I could actually see through the center sticker. He said, well, he said, well, he said, I believe you. He said, because you didn't crash the car yet. So he said, so next time somebody asks you how you see through it, he said, this time you didn't crash the car yet. So I can see through it. Oh, no, can you see through it? He said, so next time somebody asks you that, he said, just tell them you didn't crash the car yet and then understand. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's how it sits. That's see, Perfect. Got some more things coming for it. But um, yeah, guys, until next time, I catch up with y'all. I'm a little tired. I'm about to wash up, feed my dogs, and we're about to take a nap. Back up. We got it. We got it. That's what I got to go through.